What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I just picked up an Apple TV with firmware 4.2.2, which is basically 4.3, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak it on a Mac or Windows using Season Pass, which is untethered, and it's a fairly quick jailbreak, although the download does take a bit, and the only things we will need is our Apple TV, our remote, and of course a micro USB cable. We don't need the power cable. On our desktop, the one program we need is Season Pass, and it's very small. Just download it and drag it to your desktop. We're going to need to run it. Click Yes, and once it loads, you guys will click right here, Create IPSW, and depending on your internet, this will take a while, so once it's done, I'll be right back. In the meantime, make sure you plug in the micro USB cable into your Apple TV, connect it to your computer and we will be using it in just a second. As soon as Season Pass finishes it'll open up a little pop-up that'll let you know where it kept the firmware and mine is in my document Season Pass it should be just the same for everyone so I'd recommend dragging it out on your desktop and now we're going to be putting our Apple TV into DFU mode. Okay so go ahead and grab your remote and hold the menu and play pause buttons together for seven seconds so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and Season Pass will begin jailbreaking your Apple TV. So just give it a second and okay. So now it's in DFU mode and it's telling us to restore using that custom firmware that's on our desktop. So click okay, close out of Season Pass, open up iTunes, and here we're gonna hold shift on our keyboards and left click, and it's option if you're on a Mac, but we're going to left click restore and we're going to select the Apple TV restore and OK and restore. OK, so give it about 10 to 15 minutes and it will be done. If you guys are having any kind of trouble using Season Pass and jailbreaking your Apple TV 2, you can always use Snowbreeze 2.7.3 and I have an article link down below that will take you to my written guide. You can get all the links you need there and instructions. It's just I prefer Season Pass because it's a bit quicker and not as much problems with it. But if you guys are having any kind of trouble, you can always use Snowbreeze. Okay, so I finally managed to restore my Apple TV to the custom firmware after two hours of struggling with the 1602 and 21 errors. If you guys are having those errors, what you need to do is restore your Apple TV to the official 4.3 firmware for the Apple TV. Now, Season Pass downloads that to your documents, and in your documents, there's a downloads folder. In there, you'll find the 4.3 Restore. You'll want to restore the official firmware, then run Season Pass again, let it put your device into DFU mode, and then restore to the custom SP Restore, which is found in your documents. After that, your device or your Apple TV will restore very smoothly. It'll go quick, and you guys will finally be able to restore. If you guys are still having problems, replace your USB cable because this could be another major problem. Okay, well with the restore and jailbreak out of the way, let's go test it. Once you guys connect your Apple TV to your TV, you will see a Season Pass tab. Click on More Info and all it'll tell you is that the jailbreak has been successful and you can now install plugins. So I'll be showing you guys how to do that in a future video and of course you can install lots of things like Xbox Media Center, uh, right here, ATV Flash, just whatever, but I'll be showing you guys how to do that in the future. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. Definitely enjoy this jailbreak. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.